Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video on simplifying fractions, I'm going to give you the tips that I always share with my students for simplifying fractions. Simplifying a fraction is reducing it to its simplest form, and it's the last step on any fraction problem you solve. You may hear the term reduce instead of simplify because they mean the same thing. A fraction is in its simplest form when the numerator and denominator have no common factors except one. For example, the numerator and denominator in 8 sixteenths share common factors of 2, 4, and 8, so 8 sixteenths can be simplified. Simplifying using the greatest common factor is the quickest way to simplify a fraction because it takes only one step, but you aren't limited to using the greatest common factor when simplifying. In fact, if you don't know your divisibility rules or have all your multiplication facts memorized, you'll likely find that creating tables to find your greatest common factor to be time consuming. The truth is that it doesn't matter what common factors you use to get started simplifying, as long as you can accurately get to a simplified fraction for your final answer. In this video, I'm going to work some examples simplifying fractions without using the greatest common factor. In the description below this video, you'll find links to our other videos about simplifying fractions that use the greatest common factor and offer an explanation behind simplifying fractions. Now, we just said you don't have to use your greatest common factor when simplifying. The one thing to remember, though, is if you're not going to use your greatest common factor, you need to always be asking yourself, is my answer fully simplified? So let's look at 18 fourths. If I'm looking at 18 fourths and I'm not going to look for the greatest common factor, I just need some common factor that they share. If you see that 18 and 24 are both even, then they have to share a common factor of 2. And you can use your 2 to get yourself started. So I'm going to divide my numerator by 2, and I'm also going to need to divide my denominator by 2. I still need to divide my numerator and denominator by the same number to do these simplified steps. So I have 18 divided by 2 is 9 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So now I'm at 9 twelfths. So I need to ask myself, can I simplify 9 twelfths? Well, 9 and 12 share a common factor of 3. So you do need to continue your simplifying process. So you have 9 divided by 3 is 3 and you have 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now you have 3 fourths, and again, you need to stop and ask yourself, can I continue simplifying? Well, 3 and 4 don't share any common factors, so you're done with your simplifying steps at this point. So 18 fourths simplifies to 3 fourths. So the one thing to keep in mind if you're not going to use a greatest common factor is to always ask yourself, am I done simplifying? So simplifying is always the last step in any of our problems. So let's say you just got done adding two fractions and you got to an answer of 16 48 and you know that you still need to simplify. So one thing I always tell my students is the idea is just to get started on your simplifying step and to finish it out. So if I recognize that 16 and 48 share a common factor of eight, that I can divide both of them by eight, that will at least get me started. So we're going to divide our numerator by 8, and we're going to divide our denominator by that common factor of 8. And this at least gets my simplifying steps started. So 16 divided by 8 is 2, and 48 divided by 8 is 6. And one thing that getting started does is it gives you smaller numbers to work with. So now you have two six, and again, you can see very quickly and easily that they share a common factor of 2. So I'm going to divide my numerator by 2, and I'll divide my denominator by 2. So I now have 2 divided by 2, which is 1 and 6 divided by 2, which is 3. I need to ask myself that last question, of course, is am I done simplifying? Well, 1 and 3, I can't divide either one by anything but 1, and so my simplified fraction, 1648, simplifies to 1 third. So your ultimate goal is to get to an accurately simplified answer. And 
we've been talking about just choosing any factor to get yourself started because you have to start somewhere. So if I'm looking at 36 and 54, maybe I see that the common factor that they share is six and I can use the six to get started. So I'm going to divide my numerator and denominator both by six. You have to divide them by the same thing. 36 divided by six is six and 54 divided by 6 is 9. And we have to remember to ask ourselves, are we completely done or can I simplify further? Well, 6 and 9 do share a common factor of 3, so I need to continue simplifying. The other thing that I've done here is by just getting started is I've given myself some smaller numbers to work with. Now, when I go to simplify 6 ninths, I have smaller, easier to work with numbers, numbers that maybe I see more quickly what a common factor is. So I have six divided by three is two and nine divided by three is three. So again, I need to stop and ask myself that same question now that I have two thirds. Is my answer simplified? Well, two and three don't share any common factors, so I am done. 36 54 simplifies to two thirds. Thank you for joining us. Be sure you like this video and subscribe for more videos by Ziva Math.